Good morning, Jackhammers, and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness here on Patreon. Well, today I have your July Jackhammer Challenge for you, and it is a strength and cardio mashup for your triceps and your chest. So, it's written all in Tabata style, but the thing that makes it a little bit different is that we'll have a strength Tabata pair, and then we'll follow it up with a cardio Tabata pair. And then at the end, we kind of make some hybrids. So, what you'll need for this workout is a sturdy box or elevation, you'll need your dumbbells, you'll need your BOSU if you have one, if not, no big deal, do these moves on the floor, um, or sub with your favorite cardio move, and I think you could add your weighted vest if you have one of those, no big deal if you don't, because I added the weighted vest for some dips and incline push-ups. So, get all the stuff that you have, or none of it, except dumbbells if you don't have it, get a big glass of water, always strap on your can-do attitude, and I'll see you back here for this workout. All right, jackhammers, let's get your chest and tricep challenge started with a good warm-up. All right, we're just gonna start with some lunges, alternating, you don't have to be super deep at first. And as you feel a little bit more warm, Come down a little lower. Let's do one more each side. And then let's head over to your box or sturdy elevation for some push ups. Really keep that core nice and tight. Get those arms ready to work today. Awesome, let's do two more. Awesome. Going back to the lower body to get it nice and warmed up. We're gonna go into some box squats. So just rest those glutes on the box, push back up and squeeze. Now we're going to get some fast twitch muscle fibers recruited and we're going to jump. Explode off that box. As soon as you sit, explode up. Let's do two more. Good job. All right, now we're gonna go into some dips. So, I'm gonna keep my legs nice and bent first to make sure I'm nice and warmed up for this move. Keep your back really close to the elevation. Push up. Let's do two more. Awesome. All right. Now I want you to grab a weight that is significantly lighter than you would do with chest presses normally, and we're just going to do a couple warm up chest presses. So I'm grabbing about 20 pounds. I'm going to lay flat on my mat here. And we're just warming up with standard chest presses. Few more here, really squeeze the chest at the top.
Bring a few close grip. So face those palms in towards each other. Get that range of motion warmed up here. All right, give me one more. Awesome. All right. You're all finished with your warm up. Go ahead and get your weights ready for your first chest and tricep to bottom pair. All right, guys, your first to bottom pair is going to be incline chest presses. We're pairing those with close grip chest presses. So, since we don't get a lot of rest with these moves because we're doing Tabata style, I'm using a lighter weight than I normally would for just these two moves alone. So, um, I'm using 25 pounds per hand, and we are just going to bust through both of those variations for the next four minutes. Here we go. Here, 10 seconds. Get your back safely on that elevation. And here we go. Push them up. Squeeze at the top. Just 20 seconds per move, but you're going to feel it by the end. Very good. You take this opportunity to rest, or you can hold those weights up in that position to be ready for your next move, which is a close grip chest press. back to those incline chest presses. fourth round here. Whew. That is tough. If you need to lower your weights, go right ahead. I may have to do that before it's all said and done. those incline chest presses. I'm going to readjust my back. I keep slipping down a little bit further each time. Stop early on that one. <laughs> All right, this is our last full round. So I may, at least for those close grips, lower my weight next time. for this last set of close grips. About 10 seconds, you guys are doing great. Three, two, one. Very good. All right. That's a lot of pairs finished. So 
because this workout is designed to do a little strength and a little cardio. We are going to move our weights aside for the next four minutes and hop on our BOSU for some jack push-up burpees and some lateral BOSU shuffles. So you can either use the blue side or the black side up for those BOSU jack push-ups. I'm going to put black side up. But either way is fine. You have 10 seconds. We're going to do jack push-up BOSU burpees and then we're going to go into some lateral BOSU shuffles. All right, so you're going to come down, jack the feet out, push up, jump up. I think I accidentally made a pot of decaf this morning because <laughs> I'm having trouble waking up. I have weeks like that every once in a while where I just feel like, wow, coffee is not working. Lateral Bosu shuffles. We'll get open up here in a second. Really want you to have nice fast feet here. Nice low athletic stance. Hips shifted back. Quick feet. Awesome. All right. Back to your burpees. It's kind of a nice way to break up the strength training by having a little cardio fun in between and vice versa. Nice to break up some cardio with some strength. You can absolutely push that BOSU up overhead for your jump. All right. Lateral BOSU shuffles. Here we go. This wakes up the old legs. Keep breathing. Two. One. Whew. How are you guys feeling? Oh, I'm feeling exhausted today. Here we go. Almost there. Five seconds. Very good. Very, very good. Here we go. Shuffles again. I moved a little slow this morning. If you go faster. By all means. Awesome. This is our last full round. Here we go. shuffle before we get back to strength. Keep breathing. These are nice cardio moves. They don't take a lot of space, but they work. <laughs> all right. You are all finished with that to body pair. We're going back to strength. So we're gonna go to some dips and push. All right guys, we're back to strength with some tricep dips and push-ups. I'm gonna put my vest on here for these because why not? I'm starting with the dips. You can start with whatever you like. You 
You can always straighten those legs out for a better challenge. All right, we're going into incline push-ups on the box. So if you want to just do regular push-ups, that's totally fine too. These are going to be a little more of the tricep push-up persuasion. You're still going to activate your chest, but just by virtue of being on the box, you're going to have your arms a little closer to the side. Very good. Shake them out. Shake them out. You do not have to use a vest for this. Um, I'm just feeling like a glutton for punishment this morning, so here we go. Again, you can leave those knees nice and tucked to take some of that pressure off of your arms or you can extend the feet out. All right, my best is 12 pounds, so I'm feeling it. Feeling it pretty good. If you need to strip that vest at any point, you can do that. About five seconds to go. That is hard this morning. All right, we're on five of eight, so you're about halfway through. Then we'll be back to cardio and you'll be wishing you're at strength. <laughs> pressure off this round and drawing my knees in a bit. Very good. That's called survival mode. Here we go with push-ups again. If you guys are like me, having trouble waking up this morning, just think about how much better your day is going to be having done something, no matter what it is. All right, last full round. Here we go. Push up through those palms. Back close to your elevation. I try to film all my good days and my bad days so that you know I'm not always having smooth sailing or easy days. So, happens to all of us. You don't have to always do the most difficult workout you've ever done every time you step on your mat. Almost there. About five seconds now. Two, one. All right, awesome job. You are finished with that Tabata pair. We're gonna move on to another cardio one. Oh, awesome job. All right, guys, we are back for cardio Tabata. We're gonna do around the world toe taps. So you're just gonna go right around your Bosu. Should be fun. And we're gonna pair that with some traveling burpees. So that just means staggered push up one side, push up on top of the burpee, and staggered push up the other side um, for these burpees. So it'll become very clear in a minute. So you kind of get three burpees per burpee. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna do around the world toe taps first. If you don't have enough room to go around the world, that makes you dizzy, just do toe taps. I like to switch directions so I don't get too dizzy. Very good. All right, traveling both some burpees. First push up burpee is going to be a staggered one. So come down, one arm up, one arm down, nice big jump. 
both hands on the BOSU for the second one. Stagger push up, other side for your third burpee. Very good. All right. Toe taps again. I'm struggling today, guys. So if you are, just take the rest you need. Move on. Two burpees. There we go. Stings like these are the little things matter. Like feeling my air conditioner come on. Very good. All right. Round, I'll show you just to attack some stationary. My voice it sounds like there's a gorilla jumping on because it's halfway off my mat. Very good. All right, burpees. Traveling burpees. I don't know about you guys, but my plane feel like feels like it's crashing on these <laughs> traveling burpees. Chest is nice and toasty from the work we've done so far. Last full round here. It's a good thing about Tabata. It's mentally digestible. It gives you minimal rest. So you get a good challenge. And it pushes you through some tough things. Very good. Last staggered burpee. Traveling burpee that is. Oh guys. Alright. We'll be on to strength after this. So really push through. Very good. Alright guys, you made it through that. If you need a break, absolutely go take one. We're moving back into strength now with some chest presses and chest flies. So get your weights for that and I'll see you. All right, guys, next two moves are going to be chest presses and chest flies. I have 30 pounds per hand for my chest presses. I'm doing mine with my back elevated on the BOSU. I'm not doing an incline chest press where I'm kind of seated and have an angle. I'm going to come back onto the BOSU with my back just to get a better range of motion. You can do these right on the floor. I am going to do my chest flies at an incline, okay? So, just to give you a little window into my thought process here. Here we go. So, my back is up on the BOSU. My hips are bridged up. Puts my glutes to work a little too. This just mimics having a bench a little more. All right, here we go. Move these for a spell. Get my other weights. For chest flies, I'm using 15 pounds per hand here. Now here, I'm leaving my hips on the ground. Got a little more of an angle here for the flies. Got a little close to that window. <laughs> no excuses if you have 
four inches to do a workout, you can still do it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Lead safely back up. Super challenging workout. Usually I don't struggle with that weight that I'm going to be struggling today. Here we go. You'll have days like that. Just don't give up. Full round here. Arms are screaming, chest is shaky. Squeeze at the top. Chest flies. All right. Very good. Whew. You got through that one. I'm a little more surprised that I got through that one. <laughs> All right, so we're back to cardio again. We have box jumps and tricep push-ups on dumbbells. So I'm going to move my weights out of the way. You do not want to be doing box jumps with weights or bosus in the way. All right. back and forth to my high and low lower box. Um, this one's 20, this one's 24. So I'm going to start on my 20, just because I know how I'm feeling today. All right. You have 10 seconds before those box jumps have to happen. And they don't have to happen at all. You can do squat jumps, your favorite plyo move, you could do squats here. Here we go. You can step up. Rather step down. You could do step ups here too. Or you can rapid flap it, jump up and down. All right, tricep push ups on dumbbells. Because why not at this point, right? There we go. Triceps are just screaming already. You can always take these down to knees if you need to. Do them even faster. 
Awesome. Whew. Box jumps again. Remember to use those arms. Decline, not decline. <laughs> push ups, tricep push ups. Decline push ups are coming. Get in there. Very good. Tricep push ups. Doing these on your dumbbells puts a little less pressure on those wrists. this Almost there. Very good. All right. You've crushed another Tabata pair. Okay. If you need a break, take it. Our next Tabata pair is going to be kind of like this one, a little strength and cardio hybrid. It's going to be decline push-ups and BOSU pop squats. So. Take a little drink. And that's our last Tabata pair. I thought so. I didn't want to tell you before I actually knew. But I thought that was probably our last Tabata pair. So I'm going to elevate my feet on this box here. And then get my BOSU when I need it. You can elevate your feet on your higher box if you're a true glutton for punishment. Okay, here we go for our very last, but not least, Tabata pair. Here we go. that bosu and we're gonna pop squat on it so feet to the side if you want a little balance challenge hold that squat on the top okay but you know me I hate having good balance so <laughs> I'm just gonna pop right on 
joking. <laughs> Either way you want to do it is great. Whew. Whew. Good times. Decline push ups. Get that weight on the outside of those palms toward the pinky. Tighten your core in your glutes. Three, two, one. Very good. Pop squats. Ah, glorious. Isn't it? Even on your hardest days, just think how amazing it is that your body is going, doing what it does. Four, three, two, one. And don't be hard on yourself. I like to see it as the days I struggle, I'm less efficient at the movements, so I'm using more energy to do them. So everybody wins when that happens. If decline's too much here for you, do regular push-ups on the floor. Okay? No big deal. How's it going? Oh my goodness. Doing good. Wait one more round after this. So you only have to do that one more time. There we go. And you only have to do this one more time. Think about your chest. Think about those triceps helping out. Whew. Do one last pop squat. Then I've got a little homework for you. Or you can be totally done. Oh, very good, guys. You have crushed the lion's share of this workout. So awesome job on that. If you would like to do some homework, I got a little challenge for you, okay? So as you all know, with the legs, I love to do that. Four sets by six reps, five reps by, five sets by five reps, and six sets by four reps. Um, so I thought perhaps today we could do that same format with chest presses. So your homework is to do heavy chest presses, four rounds, four sets by six reps, five sets with five reps, and six sets with four reps, okay? Challenge yourself with the weight, progressively increase that weight as the reps decrease, and let me know how you did, okay? If you are all just gassed out for today, I feel ya, and um, I will meet you back here for the warm up if that is the case. Awesome job today. All right guys, let's get ready for a good cool down to let our chest and our triceps begin to recover. So, we're just gonna start with some side to side stretches. You might hear some baby sneezes because I've got both my boys in here with me right now. Really loosen up the shoulders here and the lats. And then we're gonna hold it on this side. Switch. All right, so I'm 
straight up. Get some cactus arms here. Really opening up the chest. Driving those elbows back and down. Let's interlace the fingers in front. Roll the shoulders forward. Stretching the upper back and the rear delts. Right, take those arms up and over the head. One more time forward. One more time. We're going to stretch the triceps. Other side. Awesome. Let's get some shoulder stretches going on. that. We're just going to reach forward as we're sitting cross-legged here. As you exhale, try to curl those fingers up even further. Relax the neck. And slowly come back up. Now I want you to Swing those legs back behind you, tabletop position. And push back into the heels. Pedal off those feet a little bit. One more time. Heel toe, heel toe in. Slowly roll back up. Let's get a quad stretch before it's all said and done here. So we're going to grab the toes of that right foot. Sit the left hand up for counterbalance there. And switch sides. Let's crisscross those arms a bit. Make sure the upper body is nice and loose. Let's do some inhales and exhales to usher this workout on out. Okay? There we go. We're going to inhale up. Exhale down. Up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, one more, inhale up, exhale down. Awesome job today guys. I hope you had a lot of fun crushing this chest and triceps challenge with me and I will see you back at the camera for your send off. All right, jackhammers, great job crushing your July jackhammer challenge. Now, I'm going to get the giggles probably because my little boys are down here and they are trying their hardest to make me laugh, so it's probably going to work. <laughs> so, now what I need you to do, as always, is get a healthy post-workout meal on that plate today. I need you to drink a lot of water. I need you to hit me up with any questions you have about personal training or nutrition, online coaching, anything, okay? also need you to stretch some more if you need to. And I need you to laugh today if you get the opportunity because just like exercise, laughter is super good for the body and super good for the soul.
<laughs> Especially when you have cute little monkeys who are trying to make you do that. So, uh, whether you felt like you crushed every Tabata pair or whether you felt like each Tabata pair just crushed you, you finished this workout, guys. You finished your July Jackhammer Challenge, and I'm always so proud of you, okay? So, just like I'm going to have to love somebody difficult today who is trying to make you laugh and have an amazing month of July. I'll see you guys soon. We didn't do the hammer. My goodness, they're really messing me up this morning. So we're going to do it. Whether you crushed every single Tabata pair during this workout or whether every yeah. single Tabata pair crushed you and you have children growling at you, <laughs> it is your health today and every day, so you better hit it hard. Boom! Oh my goodness. Have an awesome month of July. I'll try to keep my monsters away from the video next time and have an awesome day, guys.